Namaste everyone. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about self-love. Now I think that self-love is the most important thing that you can ever have. It is the truest love because it is the love that is indefinite. Now your family, your friends, your significant others, they're very important, but nothing is as important as the relationship that you have with yourself. A lot of people are afraid of being alone. They don't want to be stuck with the voice that's inside their heads because they'll start thinking of memories and past emotions that they've just held back so deep within themselves and it's too painful to bring to relive those memories. And because of that, they require constant external stimulation so they don't really have to feel what's going on inside. We do this because it makes our lives easier. We build blocks so we can cope with the everyday things that would be bringing us down. And it's because our, our brains want us to process things and think everything's okay, but our souls know that there's something deeper going on. And if we're driven by fears that are underlying inside us, everything we're going to do is going to show these fears. For example, a fear of being alone. We're going to cling on to relationships that are not serving us. We are not going to be able to give ourselves the time that the time that we need to recoup and reevaluate and nourish our relationship within. So I think it is really important to take a trip by yourself, just spend a day by yourself. Instead of being with friends on your Friday nights, spend the evening alone. And that doesn't mean on your laptop because that's essentially like being with someone else, but really going through your thoughts and seeing what's within them. Go to a restaurant, sit by yourself, and pretend you're on a date. Ask yourself, how, what did you do that day? How you are? And then you'll begin having this conversation with yourself. And before you know it, you're, you've made friends with your mind. And I think that's such an important thing that very few of us are willing to do because, you know, you think it's crazy. It doesn't mean you're talking to yourself. It means that you're okay with your voice. And once you run through all of the memories that you don't want to face, you realize that there's really nothing to be afraid of. It's just this fear that you've held down. And the only way that you're going to re release it is by letting it come out. So I think that we should all just take some time to be alone. I know that after spending time in an ashram by myself, it completely changed my relationship that I had with myself. And now I enjoy spending time all by myself because that's when I can really grow. So I want you to comment below and let me know if you feel the same way and what obstacles you have when it comes to being by yourself. So let us know and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Namaste.